Have you ever wondered how iguanas communicate? This might not be a question that keeps you up at night, but once you delve into the intriguing world of these fascinating reptiles, you'll discover that they're full of surprises. Iguanas are among the most distinctive creatures in the animal kingdom. They belong to the family Iguanidae, a diverse group of reptiles characterized by their elongated bodies, spiny tails, and the row of spines that run down their backs. But there's more to these creatures than just their striking appearance. They have a unique way of communicating that sets them apart from many other species. In the world of iguanas, body language plays a crucial role. One form of communication that's common among these reptiles is head bobbing. Yes, you heard it right. Iguanas communicate by bobbing their heads up and down, side to side, or in a circular motion. This isn't a random act, but a carefully calibrated message. The speed, pattern, and intensity of the head bob can signal everything from dominance to submission, from aggression to courtship interests. But the communication doesn't stop there. Iguanas also use a part of their anatomy known as the dewlap to send signals to others. The dewlap is a large flap of skin that hangs beneath the iguana's throat. By extending or retracting the dewlap, iguanas can communicate a variety of messages. An extended dewlap can be a sign of dominance or a threat to intruders, while a retracted dewlap can signify submission or fear. This complex system of nonverbal communication is an essential part of iguana society. It allows these animals to interact with each other in a peaceful manner, avoiding unnecessary conflicts and ensuring the smooth functioning of their social order. So, the next time you see an iguana bobbing its head or extending its dewlap, remember that it's not just a random act. It's a part of a rich, intricate language that these incredible creatures have developed over millions of years. These incredible creatures have a language all their own. Did you know that the green iguana can grow up to seven feet long? That's right, the green iguana, a species native to Central and South America, truly is a giant among reptiles. This is not just a random fact, but a testament to the fascinating world of these scaly creatures. When we talk about the green iguana's size, it's not just their body length that's impressive. Much of their length comes from their long, whip-like tails, which can make up to half of their total length. That means if you're looking at a seven-foot-long green iguana, about three and a half feet of that is just tail. These tails are not just for show, they serve a crucial role in the iguana's survival. They can be used as a formidable weapon to ward off predators, or as a means to swiftly navigate through the water. But let's not stop at the tail. An iguana's body is covered in tough, bumpy scales, providing a layer of armor against predators. Their skin is predominantly green, hence the name, but they can also exhibit hues of blue or turquoise, making them a colorful spectacle in the wild. Their heads are distinctively triangular, with a row of spines running down their backs to the tip of their tails. These spines, combined with their muscular bodies, give them an imposing appearance. But what's perhaps most intriguing about these creatures are their eyes. Iguanas possess keen eyesight, allowing them to detect movement from incredible distances. They also have a unique third eye on top of their heads. This isn't an eye in the traditional sense, but a photosensitive organ that helps them detect changes in light, providing an extra layer of protection from aerial predators. So, the green iguana is not just large, it's a giant in the reptile world. It's a creature that's as fascinating as it is formidable, and its unique features make it a true marvel of nature. So the next time you see an iguana, remember, there's more to this creature than meets the eye. Ever thought of iguanas as vegetarians? Well, believe it or not, these spectacular reptiles are primarily herbivores. They have a particular fondness for leaves, flowers, and fruit, a diet that might seem surprising given their impressive size and fierce appearance. Iguanas are not just casual plant eaters. They're committed vegetarians, spending their days munching on a variety of plant matter. This diet provides them with the necessary nutrients they need to thrive, from proteins to vitamins and minerals. But it's not just about what they eat, it's about balance. For iguanas, maintaining a balanced diet is crucial for their survival. They need a certain ratio of calcium to phosphorus in their diet, for instance, to maintain strong bones and a healthy body. So next time you see an iguana, remember, behind that scaly exterior and those sharp claws is a peace-loving vegetarian. Despite their intimidating size, iguanas are peace-loving vegetarians. Can you guess how long an iguana can live? An iguana's lifespan is a testament to nature's resilience and adaptability. In the wild, these remarkable reptiles can live for up to 10 to 15 years. But, 
When they're in captivity, cared for by attentive human hands, they can reach the ripe old age of 20 years, or even more in some exceptional cases. The longevity of iguanas is not just about numbers, it's about the intricate dance of survival these creatures have mastered over millions of years. They've evolved to withstand the challenges of their environments, from harsh weather conditions to the threat of predators. Now, let's delve into the fascinating world of iguana reproduction. It's no ordinary process. In fact, it's a complex cycle that reflects the iguana's deep connection with its environment. When the time comes for mating, the males put on a grand display to attract potential mates. They bob their heads, puff up their bodies, and strut around all to impress the females. It's a sight to behold. After a successful courtship, the female iguana will lay eggs, usually about 40 to 50 in a clutch. She carefully buries these eggs in warm, sandy soil, and then leaves them to incubate. Unlike many other species, iguanas don't stick around to care for their young. Once the hatchlings emerge, they are on their own, ready to navigate the world with their instincts as their guide. They have to learn quickly, facing the trials of survival from a tender age. From the moment they break free from their eggs to their last breath, iguanas lead lives filled with adventure, challenge, and resilience. Every stage of their existence is a testament to the incredible adaptability and tenacity of these extraordinary creatures. In the right conditions, an iguana can live a long and productive life. Ever noticed how often iguanas pop up in films and cartoons? These unique reptiles have been a staple in pop culture due to their distinct appearance and captivating behaviors. Let's talk movies first. Iguanas have made their way onto the big screen in a variety of roles. Perhaps you remember the scene-stealing iguana in the film Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas or the mischievous iguana in Dr. Doolittle. These roles often play on the iguana's exotic and somewhat alien aesthetic, making them perfect for adding a touch of the unexpected. And then, of course, there are the cartoons. From the quirky iguana character in The Wild Thornberries to the sassy iguana in Rango, animators have long recognized the potential of these creatures as engaging characters. Their unique movements, expressive eyes, and the sheer variety of their physical traits make for some truly memorable animated moments. But why are iguanas so popular in pop culture? Well, part of it comes down to their distinctive look. With their spiky crests, long tails, and vibrant colors, iguanas are visually striking. They stand out, and in the world of entertainment, that's a big plus. Their fascinating behaviors also play a part. Iguanas are known for their head bobbing, a form of communication that can be quite entertaining to observe. This, coupled with their ability to change color according to their mood, makes them a natural fit for the dynamic world of motion pictures. But perhaps the biggest reason for their popularity is that iguanas are just plain cool. They're exotic, they're unusual, and they're intriguing. They embody a sense of adventure and exploration, and that's something that resonates with audiences worldwide. From the wild to the silver screen, iguanas have captured our attention and our imagination. Their presence in pop culture is a testament to their appeal, proving that these creatures are more than just fascinating reptiles. They're also stars in their own right.